Hey there guys, what's up and welcome back to Two Toe Tags and Metal Reviews and today we're our final review of Dr. Acula by Dr. Acula. Okay, Dr. Acula self-titled album. Uh, so I just want to get this out of there. Uh, first off, I, I don't really know a lot about this band, despite them being around for quite a while. Hello. Um, well, they've been around since like the mid-2000s. Like 2005, I think, is when they came out. They've been around for a while, yes, and I honestly, basically had no idea this band existed until relatively recently, like within the last year or two. For reference, I'm in the same boat. Honestly, I didn't even know about these guys until like earlier this year when I kind of saw that their albums come out like, ooh, Dr. Acula, that's a funny sounding name. So yeah. the fact that 2005, like, wow. I thought this a was lot. a relatively new band. Maybe they went through lineup changes or went on a hiatus. I, don't, I didn't look too deep into it, but I was shocked to see that these guys have been around as long as they have been. Um... Which sort of leads to a little bit of what I'm going to talk about, which is kind of a disappointment with this album. Now, in the first impressions last week, we talked about the biggest problem, the elephant in the room, the length of this album at 26 minutes. Huge problem. It was a problem for me throughout the week, and I knew it was going to be. Um, I mean, you know what? The album's enjoyable. Let me say that, okay? It's, it's got good songs. It's got, you know, um, some good content there but it's too short and that really, really hurts it for the type of review we do. And the reason why I'm pulling the fact that this band has been around for so long into this is because I feel like when you've been around this long, one of two things is gonna happen. You're either around this long because you just write a lot of music and just put out whatever, or number two, you're very creative and you know how to, you're good writers and know how to make uh, attractive albums that are gonna keep people coming back. Uh, I feel like this is the former. I feel like this is just, uh, a bunch of songs that are kind of just thrown together. Um, I mean, it's cohesive, it doesn't sound messy, but as far as standout tracks go, there's not a lot. And that really hurts even more on a short album. Yeah, for how short it is, if you don't have much of standing out, then it's like, well, it's, you know, it's over as soon as it begins and there's not much to remember. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Um, the one thing that album does have, though, which is actually a bit of a surprise, is it does have some contour. Despite the fact that out of 11 tracks, probably eight, seven or eight of them are all pretty similar as far as their vibe, their energy, their presentation is concerned. But the few tracks that stand out, stand out pretty well. For, the, for me, those tracks are tracks seven and eight, which go together, which is Don't Go to Sleep and Stay Out of the Basement. So Don't Go to Sleep is an instrumental, really cool instrumental too. It's not full metal, it's got that infusion that I talked about last week. Yeah, it's like electronic, yeah, electronic stuff electronic going fusion, on. Right? And then that bleeds right into Stay Out of the Basement. So they're kind of like a hand-in-hand -hand thing, they kind of go together. Um, Stay Out of the Basement is just, to me, an awesome track. I don't really know what else to say about it, it's just really good. Um, but other than those two tracks, the last track, The Barking Ghost, which I also made comment on in the first impressions, which is another bad thing, honestly. Like, I want to talk about more stuff, not just the stuff that got me in the first listen. But it still stands out. It's got this doomy vibe. It's 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 a different breed of song than the rest of the album. It's slower, it's got less energy, but it's still hard hitting. And I feel like it's a good closer track for the album. It's one of those things that changes up the pace, yeah, late on in the album, but it still still happens. Isn't and it does add a bit of contour. Isn't it one of, if not the longest song in the album too? At like five minutes. <laughs> I don't think it's five minutes. It's I about, it's like 450 something, I think. Is it? Okay, yeah, so yeah. It's about five minutes. Cool, and that kind of makes sense for the fact that it's slower paced and it, it gives it kind of a, 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 a draggy feel, but I don't mean draggy as in boring, I mean draggy as in like dreaded, drawn out, drawn out like not in a bad way, just it's like um, torturous almost. Like, mm. Not that your ears are hurting, just I don't know. <laughs> I mean it in a good way, if I can phrase it however, but. The rest of the album, though, the songs aren't bad. The vocals are all right. They're pretty average. Um, I was having trouble. I, I wish there was more riffs on this album. Like, there's obviously riffs, but I wish there was more, like, catchy riffs, more hooky riffs that I can really get behind. I think that would have helped the album a lot um, as far as being memorable and standout-ish. Um, but yeah, the rest of the songs were pretty forgettable, I, I gotta say. Well, I guess perhaps Stay Out of the Basement is a good example of a song accomplishing that. You know, with the riffs that stand out. 
especially considering it is the first song really that you mentioned, right? As the yeah. ones that you enjoyed. So you think more songs like that should be on the album, or at least ones of Hon- the same quality? Honestly, I'm not even sure if it was riffs in "Stay Out of the Basement" that attracted me. It's just I'm not even sure what it is about that song that attracted me. There's something about it. Listen to the song and you might see, oh yeah, this song is better than the other ones maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's just me and that was the song that just I gravitated towards. Well, I, I certainly think the riffs do the job on this song because it's the only one from this album that made it into my playlist. I think Stay Out of the Basement is awesome, badass, and I love how Don't Go to Sleep sets up for it. Yeah. That it just goes into pretty much the same kind of riff sound that Don't Go to Sleep was doing. And then you also hear that come back in Stay Out of the Basement later on, yeah. which I think is awesome. It's a cool kind of two-piece thing. Um, awesome. Loved it. Loved it. The length. It's, it feels abrupt when it's over. When, when the album ends, you think, that's it? Yeah. You, know, you kind of feel like there should be more to it. And it's like, the Barking Ghost is good. I enjoy that song too, but it's just like, I feel like there should be more afterwards. I feel like this album could use maybe like three more songs, maybe. Yeah. At like average length. So like, about the same length as Barking Ghost, like you had a few more five minute songs, this goes from a 26 minute album upwards to like 40, right? Yeah. Which is more of an average album length, mm-hmm. and I think that would help it a lot. But I feel like here and there, there are riffs where I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool, this sounds cool, that sounds cool, but overall, there wasn't really as much that stood out as like, yeah, that one is sick, outside of Stay Out of the Basement, which is my favorite track on the album. Uh, Regarding the vocals, one thing I actually really liked about them is how raw they sound. There's like minimal to no effects on them. When you hear them scream, you just hear just the scream and nothing on top of it. I mean, by nothing on top of it, I mean no effects. You do get some layering of like a high and a low pitch scream on top of each other, which is cool. Yeah. And I like that. But what really stood out to me about the the vocals is that there's points where I'm hearing this guy scream and it feels like I'm in the room with him. Mm. You know, I feel like... There's nothing processed on it. It's just raw him in the microphone. And I think that's really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing that's really cool is this album flows into itself really nice, which is a blessing and a curse because there are some points, I would say earlier on in the album, where you're not sure when a song starts and stops considering how short they are. And they flow into each other quite and they, well. And they flow into each other really nicely. So it makes you think like, wait, what song am I listening to? Oh, I'm on track four. Oops, I thought I was still on the second track. Yeah. However... One thing that's awesome is that the last track loops into the first one, which is titled Epilogue. And that's what got me to consider that. I'm like, yeah. this first track's called Epilogue, and the songs are looping really nice. Like, does yeah. the last track do, do that, and you put the album on loop, as soon as Barking Ghost ends, Epilogue starts. And it's like, wow, yeah, it actually loops into itself perfectly. And I think that's awesome. And I love when albums do that. Mm-hmm. It's a really nice creative touch. So I do think that's really cool. But overall, I didn't really get... I didn't really find too much to kind of write about from my notes, you know? Like, it was like, it's cool, and I love post-hardcore, like I mentioned before, and that's kind of the energy that I got from this, with some deathcore in it, too. But, you know, there wasn't too much that really stood out as, like, this is the sick part. It's like, yeah, yeah, there's some cool songs here and there, and then there's one that's, like, super-duper sick, and that's kind of, like, it... But it was still good. I can't really say this is a bad album. Like, it's, it's pretty cool, but it's just... There's not that much that's really memorable about it. I feel like that's really kind of the shortcoming. And I think the, the length um, plays a part in that. Because it's over and you don't realize that it's over at that point. Okay, well let's rate it. You can go first. Alright, well I think Dr. Acula is a cool sounding album. I like the genre just in and of itself. But I think the length is a bit too short and not enough of the songs stand out hard enough to the point to make a 26 minute album work well. But it's not badly performed. In fact, it's quite well performed. And there's some cool moments and there's at least one song that I would say just definitely is awesome and it went in my playlist. So this is gonna get a 5.5 from me. Yeah, you know what? I agree with with basically what you said. Out of the songs I liked, none of them were strong enough to make it to my playlist, even though I did like them. But I'm comparing, I'm comparing them to songs that I didn't really care that much for. So it's like they are what they are. <laughs> um, I, I honestly, I, I'm gonna be a, a broken record here, but the length of this album hurts it very badly um, to the point where my score is gonna be quite low. Um, trying to be fair, I don't want to 
make it sound like this is a horrible piece of work because it's not like TV fish said and I've said there's it sounds fine if you listen to it but as a judge judging the album be doing I'm waiting you're building up this big rank of rating I'm, I'm excited it's not a big rating it's a four no. okay it's, it's a, a four it's a four all right there I it was is. honestly I'm gonna be honest too I was leaning towards a three because that's how I feel but saying, I feel like a three is too harsh for this album. I feel like that makes mm. it sound like the album is bad, which it's not. But it's not bad. It just has issues. It has issues, and the issues are really hard to overcome. Um, so I think four is kind of like a more fair. It's not. It's not a mid album, so I can't give it a five because a mid's like mm -hmm. I like half. I don't like half. This yeah. is like. I think a four is a fine score for me. Yeah, you're building up a lot to that score. I was excited. You were freaking me out. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck was going on. Anyways, guys. That's it for this review. Let us know in the comments below. A few things. One, have you heard of Doc, Dr. Acula before this? Because we were totally out of the loop on this. Number two, comment down below and let us know what you think of, the, of our scores, what you thought of the album, all that fun stuff. Give your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I'm Vile Self. I'm TV Fish. I'll see you guys on the next one. Keep those heads banging.